so finally i got this phone delivered to my house yesterday by dhl it took almost a month and this is xiaomi redmi note 9 pro 5g or you can call it mi 10i sounds much simpler as compared to chinese variant as many of you know it's xiaomi's rebranded phone as mi 10i which was launched in china a couple of months ago so i decided to get one imported from China to Ireland because Mi 10i which is global ROM it's not available in Europe yet. That is why this phone is rocking Chinese ROM which has some differences as compared to global ROM on software side but hardware is exactly the same. It comes with same 33 watt fast charger, type C cable in the box and this nice case is included which is very nice fit on the phone by the way. Somehow my phone came without any plastic seal and Google Play services was already installed. But anyways, let's go forward with the video and find out if this phone is any worth of your money or not. So my name is Jasteep and welcome to Just Review. So let's get started. I've been using this phone from yesterday very heavily and I even put my sim inside and got 5G signal as well which I didn't even know it's available in my area. Another thing I noticed that this phone is very heavy. Almost heavy like HTC Desire 20 Pro which has 5000 mAh battery. However this phone has similar battery off and charges very quickly in 50 to 60 minutes. But I also noticed that battery does not last much longer. And I did not even push this phone hard enough. I did not run benchmark tests yet. I played some amount of PUBG only. Maybe it's because of live wallpaper was on whole time. And I even installed super wallpaper which wasn't supported on this phone because this phone has non AMOLED screen which does not support always on display. Now I was using this phone on 120Hz refresh rate and tested out some camera as well. Plus MIUI 12 feels very heavy skin on top of Android 10. And I hope Xiaomi will update this phone as soon as possible on Android 11. Overall usage of this phone on MIUI 12 and Android 10 is fine. Nothing special. But just fine it reminds me a lot of realme 6 and realme 7 as those phones also kind of like bit laggy on 90 hertz display feels like it's struggling to be on 120 hertz as same way it gets a little bit warmer on normal usage which is a bit strange as i have a chinese rom my experience wasn't that much pleasing because I had to install a lot of Google apps plus uninstall money Xiaomi apps. If you're wondering uh, something is up with the video quality of this video, then yes, I shot this whole video on my Xperia 5 Mark II instead of my Lumix camera just to see what can be achieved. By the way, if you're liking this video, don't forget to press the like button and share the video if you feel so. Let's go through the specs quickly which are actually great for the price. It comes with Snapdragon 750 5G 8nm processor with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, which is expendable by the way. Dual speaker, which are very loud and better than many phones in competition. And it's an IPS LCD display, which has great viewing angle and supports HD video on Netflix and Prime. Take a look and listen to the audio as well. I will put the full specs list in the description below if you are interested. Let's come to the camera now. Uh, front camera 16 megapixel which is actually very great and very comparable to many flagship I would say. In rear you'll get 108 megapixel main camera 
which can also make videos in 108 megapixel mode which gets a little bit choppy in my experience but overall it's fine then 8 megapixel ultra wide is there and some useless macro and depth camera for 2 megapixels let's take a look on the video samples as well this is the test uh, from front camera which is 16 megapixel and um, I think there is a little bit of uh, beauty mode going on here and there, but yeah, overall it looks very nice. So this is the 4K 30 frame per second. This phone doesn't have any 60 frame per second uh, 4K video, and, and this is 108 megapixel mode, and it tends to uh, skip a frame here and there. Maybe it's just because of processor and there is no image stabilization. So this is the 108 megapixel 1080p 60 frame per second video and um, I would say the fluidity is actually very good in 60 frame per second and there are no frame drops here and there and it's going very smooth I would say. So let me know how is the audio and video quality for you guys. I'll be doing full camera test in my full review and might compare with other cameras. So subscribe if you would like to see that video in your feeds. So to wrap it up, some good points and some not so good points about this phone. I like this phone is a value for money and gives okay performance. 108 megapixel camera is good and selfie camera is actually great. Display quality is very likable even though it's an IPS LCD display. It comes with fast charger and cases included which is always appreciated. It has headphone jack and fast fingerprint and fast face unlock. And now some not so good points. I should not be nagging about bad points much because price is very good on this phone. But that doesn't mean this phone doesn't have any competition. First thing I would say about this phone that the lag is very noticeable and uh, you will see the lag here and there uh, every time when you are minimizing or opening some heavy apps. Uh, phone feels very heavy and battery doesn't last long enough as per your expectation. Could have given telephoto lens instead of two 2 megapixel cameras. Rest it all depends on your budget and your brand preferences. You can let me know in the comment would you buy Xiaomi Mi 10i if you haven't already. Or you rather go Samsung, iPhone, Realme or maybe Poco Bay. And that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do let me know if you have any question and have a wonderful day ahead. Cheers.